here today and I'm going to be doing uh, with you hopefully if you've got a yoga strap um, we're just going to do a couple of very basic stretches from yoga using the yoga strap I've got this one just hanging out here and um, we're going to start with doing a hamstring one so um, you may have already done this all right so we're just going to um, just going to thread it through Push, four, 
three, two, and one. Okay, relax, bring it in. I'm going to use my strap a little bit to pull it a bit further that way now. That's good. I should do this more. I don't do this very often. I love doing this. Sometimes I forget. All right. And then just relax, relax, relax. So quite often um, during, if I've got a client, I will be adjusting them and I'll be holding them and making them push against me. But this is a great way you can do it by yourself using a, um, using a yoga strap. All right, so that was one leg. Shall we go the other leg? All right, so just bring it onto the other leg. Really, really good to have something nice and tight like this with a buckle. All right. So here we go. I like to put it in the middle of my foot, towards the middle of my foot when I'm doing this. All right, so second leg, keeping that leg bent. Okay, we're just going to do the hamstring stretch first. So pulling it that way just a bit. Not, not pulling really hard, just trying to just help ease it into that stretch. So this is not necessarily something I would teach in a yoga class, um, but it is something that I do with my painting clients um, because it does really help with getting more flexibility through the hamstrings. Um, here we go. Okay, so relaxing that for a sec. Let it bend if you want. Okay, so we're gonna bring it up. Hold it tight, okay? You don't want it to go flying, okay? Holding it tight, holding it tight, and five seconds that way. So that heel is pushing that way. Ready, go. That 80%, I'm just saying 80%, just keeping it 80. Three, two, and one. And bringing it in to stretch. You can go here if you like. Whatever works for you, you don't have to use the strap. Just holding it. Make sure this one's nice and bent. Eye gaze is up. Breathing. And then just give the leg a rest. Okay, give it a little rest. And we'll go to round two of the pushies away. Okay, here we go. Lift it nice and tight. And now, remember, keep, remember to keep the leg flex, the feet flex, and push it that way. Let's go. 80%. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Good, rest, and bring it in to stretch. Bring it in. Just a little tiny bit of, I'm giving it, I'm going that way a bit, and I'm just giving myself a tiny bit of, of tension here, not a lot. I'm not really pulling it hard. Relax. Ooh, and then we're going to go shake it around or whatever. We're going to go round three. Okay, so we lift up as far as we can bring it in. Holding. And now push away. Five. Four. Three. Nice and strong. Two. And one. Okay, and now just bring it in. You don't need to have any pressure on it. Just bring it in. pushing away or anything, I'm just stretching the hamstring here. So, hopefully you like that. I like doing those ones, I it's a bit good, thing to do. <laughs> anyway, sometimes. Alright, so I'm going back to my first leg here now. And we're just going to do a couple of very simple stretches um, using the strap. Okay, so first legs are up, other leg is bent here. I'm going to pull my hand, my opposite, like the same, same hand as this leg. Okay, so I've got my left leg, my left arm is going to go out on the floor and shoulder stays down. Right hand reaches here. And I'm going to let that go across towards my right shoulder, but keeping it in with my hamstring stretch, still going. 
So what we're doing here is stretching the outside of the thigh. I'm not pulling on it too much this way. I'm actually sort of pulling it a little bit towards me just to help support the leg. Um, you don't want to pull really hard that way. That's not good. You want to keep the hip down on the floor as well. So it's just quite a gentle stretch. The strap really isn't doing a huge amount here. Straight leg. No, 
a straight leg. This leg is a straight leg with the strap. Okay. So we've got straight leg with the strap tucked around it. Okay. The other one is going to be lifting up. So this is bent here. And we're just going to let that one fall across the body a bit. And I'm lifting my hip here, falling across the body. So doing a little bit of a twist here. If that feels uncomfortable with that leg straight, you can bend it as well, that's fine. Because what we're going to do in a moment is actually that goes under the leg. That's right. There we go. Strap there. So straps under the leg. I'm going to hold it with my left arm. So that's, it's on my right leg, but I'm holding it with my left hand now. Okay, going back into twist position. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is lift that. Curl that leg up a bit, using my strap a bit to help lift it. And we're doing cat chasing its tail pose here. You don't need to pull on it hard, you just do what's right for you. If that strap just helps lift that leg up. We're doing a bit of a thigh stretch on the bottom leg. If you want to pull it up even further, you just pull it up further. And I'm just looking up, my eye gaze is looking up with this. I just find that comfortable keeping my shoulders down and looking up. But you can look towards the knees, you can look away if you want to add more, more of a twist. Just looking up is good. That's called cat chasing its tail. Breathe into it.
got something out of that using the strap for a few different things and um, a few different stretches of course and um, I'll catch you next time. See ya.